Can ozone solve your problem? Let me shatter the myths and tell you what it can and can't do. Have you ever walked outside after a lightning storm and smelled the air, or sometimes they're called electrical storms? That's because you're smelling the ozone. You're smelling the fresh air, uh, the contaminants in the area, the pollution and things like that have been basically sucked to the ground, pulled to the ground, neutralized. So you're smelling really fresh, clean air. And that's what ozone can do for you. It can actually create that smell. First, the truth. Number one, it works really fast. Number two, most local rental shops don't know anything about it, and the machines they rent are low output, homeowner quality, and usually compromised from rental use. And then number three, ozone destroys all sorts of stuff, including mold, mildew, bacteria, severe odor, viruses, and more. Now here's how and why ozonators work. Number one, if you look at the image on the left side, it says the air gets sucked into the ozonator. And then it goes into the chamber and it passes over very high current uh, electrical field and the air is electrified as it's passed over that voltage. And the O2, the oxygen at that point, is then shredded, creating briefly O1, but instantaneously it converts to O3. It couples with the nearest oxygen molecule upon exit. The O3, which is the ozone produced, is inherently unstable. The unstable third oxygen atom of the ozone breaks off when it comes into contact with any number of airborne and surface contaminants. Seeking balance is why, it ha is why that happens. This is how, at a molecular level, it works. Ozone, at a molecular level, incapacitates what it touches. This is why people, plants, and pets cannot be present when high levels of ozone are used. Because it's a gas, it goes places that you can't fit with ease, like attics and crawl spaces, under basement stairs, into car trunks, and under chairs. It gets into a lot of places really well. But because it's a gas, it lacks mechanical power. It can't force its way into drywall loaded with well-rooted mold. So while it may kill what's on top, that is what the gas sees, it won't likely kill if the source is much deeper than that. So you really need to remove the source of the problem. And I'll address that a little bit further uh, as we go through the slides. Also keep in mind that this is where ozone falls off as the silver bullet solution. It does a great job for a lot of things, but you cannot expect it that it's going to destroy all the mold in your house and you'll never have a problem with that if you fail to remove the source material. If you have mold in your home, it's usually the result of water and poor ventilation or airflow. You need to remove the source and then treat with ozone. Now the airborne mold spores will be neutralized. You should know that this step is almost always skipped by amateurs. Because, I mean, think about that. When people have mold in their basements or their homes or anywhere in their homes at all, under sinks, things like that, they'll go in and they throw the material out to the trash. Sometimes, if it's not a lot of it, that does the job. But a lot of times what happens is the mold spores continue to lurk around in the heating and cooling system, uh, in the air in the home, on, on furniture, things like that. So treating a home with an industrial ozonator with shock levels of ozone is critical after mold remediation, after mold has been removed from the home, the source material that is. Now there's some exceptions to this. I have, however, had clients rent my industrial ozonators for homes that had mild mold issues wherein the mold catalyst, say a leaky hot water tank, had been replaced and the mold present was fairly minor. In this instance, the ozonation did the trick. It did a great job. More importantly, we shocked the heating and cooling system and the, entire home kill and the entire home, killing both the mold smell and the suspended mold spores. Bacteria. This is from NewScientist.com. You can also Google this and find it all over, the web, all over the web. Ozone is generated by treating oxygen molecules with electricity, as I shared with you in that slide. Ozone attaches to carbon in the bacteria, turning the carbon into carbon monoxide, and effectively, vaporizing the bacteria. The United States Postal Service has been known to use it to clean mail and have, it, have uh, tested it as well with anthrax. Another place that it's used is at crime scenes to sterilize the rooms and in hospitals to destroy contagious pathogens. Why not use them during school breaks to kill uh, you know, a couple days off with the kids to kill germs and lockers in uh, various rooms throughout the school? As an odor removal tool, because odors are typically sourced from bacteria, mold, mildew, using an ozonator to destroy these things makes sense, doesn't it? After all, there's no chemical left over afterward to clean up, and the ozone itself dissipates naturally within about 30 minutes. 
You will still smell that fresh odor, but the remaining ozone shouldn't be enough to irritate the sensitive individual. With ozone, odors are not covered up. They are neutralized. They are destroyed at a molecular level. That's really key. It's not just going in and spraying the place with Febreze. It's actually changing the molecular structure of the stink. Odor removal. The first two things a prospective home buyer notices are, and I know this from several years of real estate investing, in order, curb appeal, and then upon entry, the second thing they notice immediately is the smell of the home. Odors can cost you a sale of the home, and they can cost sellers thousands of dollars in perceived value. And again, no sale at all. The joke in the rehab industry is we love stinky houses because stinky houses smell like money because they know that most people will not make an offer on a house that has smells. The biggest odor problems when selling the home are cigar and cigarette, and then uh, closely behind that are cooking odors, especially in homes where there's a lot of ethnic food being cooked. The entire home can smell really bad, and the ozone can help to take care of that problem. Bed bugs and columbola. I recently read that it's only a matter of time before everyone experiences these little bastards personally. I travel quite a bit, so I'm flying the friendly skies with them. Yuck. Now, here's what I know about ozone, bed bugs, and columbola. I have rented my machines to people that claim success and to those that claimed no success. You see, these guys can hide in walls. My opinion is you need to go pro and heat the room. And uh, as it relates to the ozone, you may wipe out 99% of them with it, but the 1% is enough to make a comeback. Now, I, the one client that did actually uh, have some success with this treated with tubes and actually rammed the ozone down into the fibers of the carpet and kept the home sealed up for about a 24-hour period with the machines running pretty much the full time. And uh, in that situation, it's extremely dangerous to be inside. Uh, the guy that actually did the treating uh, used a mask, a carbon mask. My personal opinion is... Uh, I, I would not go into a home and work that long using it because I just think it's dangerous for your lungs and, uh, you know, your body parts. But, uh, you know, some people do claim some success with it. But, again, that is a big caveat uh, to actually be in the home with the ozone. Can be, it can be deadly to the human being actually in there. It's not good. So you tell me, would you trust these, something like this, these industrial ozone cannons like I have, or this thing? Let me try that again. These or one of these from the local rental store. Good choice. Get the ones that truly shock the air. Or you can treat until the cows come home with little to no success. The machines pictured above output five times what most local rental store machines put out. And they do it forcefully with powerful fans. Not computer fans like a lot of the ozone machines on the market. These are powerful, powerful fans inside and they really distribute the ozone well. For more information on ozone and how it works, or to rent one, click the link below the video, and I can make sure that you get a machine that does the job. If you don't live in the state of Michigan, I can help uh, pass you on to a, uh, onto a couple of uh, rental companies that do, good, that do good work and have the proper machines and equipment as well. But just as, impor uh, as important to that, I'll provide my opinion as to whether or not I think it makes sense for your situation. Check out stinkyhouse.com. That's the easiest place to go, stinkyhouse.com. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you learned a little bit about ozone and it can be a benefit to you.